Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, this time of year, the sun angle lines up perfectly with the steeple in downtown York, and that's what it looked like this morning, taking the clock back to around 730 from our York sky cam. It was a chilly start to the morning with clear skies. Temps down in the 20s, but mainly just some high clouds have been moving through this morning. But really over the last hour, we've seen those high clouds thicken up just a little bit, and we will continue to see the thickening of the clouds through the rest of today. Live look now from our York sky cam and in the White Rose City, we're seeing temps climbing up into the upper 40s already. We are on our way. What looks like to be the uh, low to mid 50s this afternoon. Not a bad day at all, and it feels like 44, just a light breeze, about seven miles per hour. Other locations, 48 uh, in Lancaster, and again, there's that 47 in York. 48 as well in Gettysburg, a little chillier up north at 43 in Lewistown, and the radar is quiet at this time. Just some of these high clouds continuing to move in from west to east, but we will uh, expect to see those clouds continuing to get a little bit thicker for us, so we'll call it increasing clouds through the rest of your afternoon and a milder day today with highs uh, in the, again in the low to mid 50s. Now tonight, mostly cloudy skies wouldn't rule out the chance of maybe even a sprinkle or two here late this evening going through the overnight hours, but not going to amount to much at all. Not as cold because of the cloud cover with lows only in the upper 30s and tomorrow looks like an even better day for us. Partly sunny, wouldn't be surprised to see some periods of mostly sunny skies and maybe the chance of a spotty shower late in the day. But here we go back into the 60s here, so a little bit of a spring preview out ahead of a monster storm that is developing out in the central plains and just look at it here. Then this has really been developing just in the last 24 hours and deepening rapidly with the low pressure center, which very easy to pick out here on the surface map. Blizzard conditions all through the central plains, including around Denver and up through parts of uh, Nebraska and uh, South Dakota as well. Now, as we look to the satellite and radar picture over us, Eventually, we'll see the clouds from that system sort of spilling over here into the Susquehanna Valley. Notice we see some of those clouds uh, arriving here later this afternoon and into the overnight hours. Now, tomorrow itself, the clouds do break up and we'll actually have uh, some sunshine through most of the day, though there could be a couple of spotty showers that arrive later during the evening hours. Now, as we go into uh, early parts of Friday morning, there's a front that will be crossing through the Ohio Valley and along that front, likely a line of showers, even heavier thunderstorms too. But as that line makes its way across the central mountains, overnight into Friday morning, it will likely weaken, but still likely some showers as we go into Friday morning through Friday afternoon as that cold front pushes through. So we will see yet another day on Friday with some milder temperatures. So we're going with 62 for the high tomorrow, 64 for the high on Friday with those scattered showers around, but we will cool things down here as we go into the weekend, including St. Patrick's Day itself on Sunday, a brisk high of 46 there, and then generally staying in the low to mid 40s here as we go throughout the rest of the week and to Tuesday around 46 there. So seven days away and we'll hit the spring equinox and that means that's the first day of spring and if you want to get really technical about it, 558 is exactly when the sun's rays are over the equator and that is when we will introduce the season of spring officially here in the Susquehanna Valley and I think we'll get a little bit of a spring preview, it's a taste of warmer weather, in fact 60s as we go into tomorrow and also on Friday. Yeah, it's nice out today, a little yeah. cool. And, but and tomorrow will be 10 degrees warmer than this. So. How about that? All go. right, it'll feel like spring. It will for sure. All right. Thank you, Matt.